hey Ben what's to do on the lake so I was in Harbor Freight uh, last week picking up a jaw horse for uh, getting set up for my chainsaw adventure and this set was sitting uh, was there among the tools as you wander around Harbor Freight I normally avoid Harbor Freight but uh, they had a cheap jaw horse this set was $11 and uh, then when I got back this week I had 10 days and I've got uh, a seven-year-old dwarf who's uh, here for the summer and uh, he's been taking up a lot of time taking him fishing and doing various different things and I haven't had a chance to get the chainsaw stuff completely set up uh, but you see a chainsaw in the background but this was an $11 set and there were uh, heck I don't know one two three four ten ten of them I guess and I just thought I'd run through these and see if you could actually carve something uh, with this stuff and uh, the conclusion for those of you, if, if you have a lot of sharpening stuff around um, and a lot of patience, uh, you could make something with these. Uh, I can think back to, there's a chisel that came in the set and you see me pulling them out there one at a time. They're kind of a nice little palm set if, if they were good. They're pretty, um, but not finished. And they certainly did not come sharp. Every single one of these is dull. So here's two as uh, a bent gouge and a straight gouge, and I kind of like those. And that V groove one you showed, that I showed you the first real fine one. The V groove is not even cut all the way down into the end of the tool. Uh, stops about an eighth of an inch short. And there's a nice little uh, gouge. So three gouges in there that are pretty nice, and maybe a skew out of the whole thing a bent skew that one right there probably there's two or three of those in different sizes and unless you're doing a lot of lettering work uh, with a full set of uh, chisels 100 chisels laid out in front of you like some of the professional carvers use uh, especially over in, in uh, Germany and whatnot they'll use a different sweep of gouge uh, for each letter and that sort of thing without changing most of us don't have the luxury. Those uh, professional tools are going to set you back uh, on the low side, $35, on the high side, up to 100 So I'm setting them out here. There, there was uh, three V gouges in there. The other two I would, may or may not sharpen. I'm, I'm not a big fan of V gouges. They're hard to sharpen. And to get a set like this that, that would require uh, time and effort to sharpen may not be worth the effort. I can and do just about the same thing with a knife uh, and two cuts. So laying them out here to determine which one may or may not work. And like I said, the gouges are fine. The skews I'm gonna are on the other side there. And I've never had much use for those. Uh, if, I suppose if you were a chip carver, you could get away with a little bit of that in there. But they, they got a nice ferrule on them. I'm sure the steel is not uh, anywhere near a good grade of tool steel. And then uh, I think, and this is just a suspicion, that uh, they probably weren't tempered uh, or hardened, right? And, and if, if I had the torch here and that sort of thing, I would I'd actually pull out some oil and, and, and try to temper one and see if that made any difference in them. But for $11, I couldn't resist. Now, where you might get these is you might get these for, uh, say, what's coming up, Father's Day. If someone, uh, kids know you're a carver, and uh, they'll go in a stack of or pile of tools that you'll never use. So, right out of the box. And this is just uh, as dull as can be. It, it won't even take a, a sliver off there. And I'm, I'm pushing pretty hard. And granted, that's a pretty hard piece of basswood, I noticed when I got to playing around with it. And uh, this, this must be one of those I should have sent to Rob over at Just Carver Rob. I, I sent Rob some basswood, and he's ran across a couple pieces that are uh, all, all but petrified. So uh, I'll send, Rob, I'll send you some more uh, one of these days that's, that's, that's actually good for carving with uh, a knife. The harder basswood, I air dry all of mine, and there's some folks that uh, say that the air dried turns out harder than the kiln dried. That, that doesn't make any sense to me, but uh, uh, people say that that's true, and, and all of mine's air dried. So there's a real chisel that'll set you back probably $45, $50, and 
and you can see that it, it actually takes shavings off of the piece and, and I guarantee that this one is not that sharp it survived the fire and I, I've, I've done a lot so I pulled out the diamond slicks and there's two of them there one is uh, fine and uh, I think that's a thousand grit and don't quote me and then the other one is uh, extra fine and I don't remember the grit on that um, but the, the two of those and then a little bit of strop and will get all your tools where you want and you're not let's say someone gave you these or you got this you went camping no that's not even a good thing so many years ago we when the kids were young we went over to minnesota to a, a family's cabin and spent a week there and i got bored and started carving a, a decoy out of the firewood i might have stopped by the hardware store and picked this stuff up because all i would have had was a, a pocket knife and a, a hatchet probably that was sitting there with the firewood so uh, run them across the two, or just I just did one of the gouges, uh, across the two um, diamond slicks, and then uh, a little bit of uh, uh, rouge, and to see what we got. And it's got a really strange profile on it, but uh, hey, look at that. It is pulling uh, curls off there. Now I am working pretty hard at this, and it does have kind of a strange angle ground on it, ground on it but uh, it would certainly do the trick. I started my carving with a little set of six and a knife, a uh, little set of six carving tools. So let's see, I thought maybe make turn this into a coffee spoon just for the heck of it. So no, no bandsaw yet, still on back order. The COVID stuff is driving me nuts. Uh, I was trying to get the dust collector ordered and that sort of thing and, and guess what, back order. Um, ordered my glass eyes from Tohican. They were a little slow. Said the COVID had set them back, um, but I don't. I don't understand that. That's just me. I guess I kept working all the way through this thing. So we we'll get it down, and I, I wanted to try that gouge out, and and on a bowl or a spoon kind of shape and I thought what better than a quick little um, coffee spoon which is of no, no use to anyone other than it's kind of cute so I'll do the initial I'll do some of the work with the knife and that's not fair I should have carved the whole thing with that set so that's that set may may work if you uh, uh, have all the stuff to sharpen it so uh, taking the scenario that I gave you, you're somewhere stuck somewhere for a week or two uh, where you don't have uh, access to your carving tools, you didn't bring them, and you thought you wanted to carve something, so you went down and picked up this set. Well, uh, in addition to picking up this set, you'd have to find some stuff to sharpen it, and uh, that gouge is not going to, you're not going to get it done, get the job done sharpening it by just having a whetstone in front of you. Uh, you're going to have to have some, at least a minimum of slipstone that you can get the inside of that gouge. And then you're going to have to have something that you can strop on that also. So taking the basic shape down. I've got, uh, like I said, I've only got an hour or two uh, early, early in the morning uh, now before the, uh, the dwarf wakes up. And he wants to go fishing. And uh, I guess... In, in my brain, if you're on the lake, you got the dock right there. The fishing poles are sitting on the dock. The worms are in the refrigerator. And our lake is uh, uh, on a really nice fishing lake. But uh, he can catch panfish off the dock with a bobber and a worm uh, about as fast as you can uh, pull them off of there for him. And then after an hour or so of that, he's, he's uh, tired. He'll occasionally pull in a bass or a, a bigger perch. Uh, the other day he, he caught a about a two and a half foot pike that was a lot of fun for him and good stuff so here's that gouge and uh, here's where it would come in handy you can't get down and you, well you can you have to work at weird angles with a knife to, to get a, a spoon gouge shaped and you'll notice that uh, this obviously the grain is running uh, lengthwise on that thing a little bit more effort 
uh, it's got, like I said, a very strange angle on it, and all of them do. These might be worth, and I, I'll play around with a couple of them when I've got more time, and I actually get the, um, the grinders and that sort of stuff for sharpening set back up. I, I went ahead on this thing. Uh, after I did about this much on it, and then I got I got to just kind of liking the the angle that this thing was going in there, and it needed to be a little bit sharper. And I, and I real be honest with you, I didn't spend more than uh, three or four minutes. So I, I got the right angle grinder out, and I reprofiled this. And unfortunately, it's not coming in. I, I made it a little bit thinner, brought the angle back, and all while trying not to ruin the end profile. And then I ran it through the stones again and uh, lo and behold it worked a lot better it's kind of a, a, a nice little size uh, to sit in there or sit in your hand and it does flick on there and uh, I put down a carving block there or a stop block on the end of that to push on it and, and and wanted to take some of the stuff on the side of this down. You could do the same thing in a block. You'll you'll know if you watch some carving videos that people will make a um, Z-shaped piece of wood uh, and hang it over the edge of a bench. So here's me skipping forward because you really don't need to see me carve a uh, coffee spoon necessarily from start to finish. These things are kind of fun. This is a fun one that you can do that takes very little effort and a whole, not a whole lot of thought. I don't know the value of them. They're kind of like uh, one of the little birds. If you were to carve a bird, you could you could actually sell that. These things, I suppose, you could sell too, but uh, you'd have to have a, a ton of them. I, I go to these. Uh, in Germany, we used to call them trottel marts and flow marts. Uh, but they're basically a flea market or a, a street fair or something along those lines. And there'll be one or two guys that carve spoons, and they'll have all the stuff to it. They'll have the shaving horse set up there. They'll have uh, 500 spoons in, in buckets and hanging around. And that's uh, kind of neat to go through those and, and see what they've got. But uh, my wife kind of ruined making spoons. I used to make them and stick them in the kitchen in, the, in one of the crocks by the stove. And it turns out that uh, the ones that last longer and are better are the cheap set for $3 made of bamboo wood. So a bamboo spoon will will last longer, not break, um, et cetera, yada, yada. And, and they don't seem to soak up the different oils and things that you have running around. So spoons are fun to make. Uh, rhyme or reason I, I've watched a couple spoon videos that have over a million views uh, in a year and it, I'm wondering why a couple of my spoon video, videos didn't gain that popularity so there's 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 a secret to this YouTube stuff and I don't know what it is but poof there you have it cute little coffee spoon And that is basswood, so it's it's probably not the preferred uh, spoon wood that you would want to go with. So Harbor Freight eleven dollar tool set, absolutely worthless um, unless you've got a bunch of sharpening stuff and you you enjoy sharpening things. Uh, I'm kind of one of those fuddy duddy guys. I, I I like a certain size of gouge. I typically like a number eight, uh, which is a smaller gouge. And you can see I'm throwing around thing around to see if it'll sit on the counter. If I were to make that uh, for use, I'd probably flatten underneath the bowl, which would ruin the aesthetics. So it would sit on the counter. So $11 Harbor Freight, don't buy them. If someone buys them for you, go ahead and try to sharpen them up. Uh, don't think that you're going to stop by the lake on our, on our campground at hardware store and pick one up. Uh, they won't work for you unless you got a bunch of sharpening stuff. So hey, this Ben Benwood Studio on the lake.